What's up everyone, this is Kansanaka Wish for Fish, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the importance that this sneaker had, the Air Max 95 had on me, as well as Wish for Fish Outdoors. For those of you that know me personally, maybe met me at the shows or noticed in the videos or follow me on social media know that I'm really into sneakers and fashion as well. Now this all started in high school. I really thought I was gonna get into fashion, but being a minority growing up in North Carolina, there wasn't much motivation or let alone any mentors to really look up to. Now it's possible that if I grew up in another environment, I maybe would have been pushed into that a little further. Luckily through my career choices, I was always dealing with fashion. Even in film industry, I was an art director and dealt with fashion then. And especially when I was in New York, I dealt with a lot of fashion. And through those fashion connections, uh, luckily I was able to propel Wish for Fish Outdoors um, with merchandise. Now through Wish for Fish Outdoors, I'm able to combine my passions for fashion as well as fishing together and try to bring you stuff that outside the box. Now the only reason that I'm making this video is because I was lucky enough to score the re-release of the Air Max 95 on the sneakers app. Usually I take the L but this time I actually got them so I'm super excited about that and then I realized that the impact and the influence that this sneaker had in my life as well as my brand. Now I'm gonna date myself and tell you that in 95, I was a senior in high school, but even at that point, I was a hustler. And these were the first sneakers to really hit that aftermarket boom. And in Japan, they were going for a thousand to even $2,000 at one point. So I was going around and buying them off of friends' feet. So shout out to Adam and Kim, and would go sell them to Japan in that aftermarket. Now these sneakers have been re-released over 10 times in the past 25 years and sells out every time. Now these sneakers were so hot, kids were getting robbed for them in Japan and to prevent getting robbed for them, uh, they started wearing bell-bottom shoes to cover the sneaker. It had a huge cultural impact. Uh, they had a comic strip after them and they really got a hold in the hip hop culture as well. And Ghostface, Lil' Kim, Ray Kwan, Warren G, and even Eminem have been seen wearing the Air Max 95. I am super excited to open this box personally, but I can't wait to tell you guys the relevance that this sneaker has uh, to the Wish for Fish Outdoors brand. Ooh, bam. Ooh. Huh, arch support. Now even in 25 years, this has a very modern design. And I would say that behind the Jordan, it's definitely one of my top favorite sneakers of all time. Now that you see the sneaker, you could really see the influence that it had on my pack. Uh, you could see the, the color variations of the black and faded to the gray, and as well as the bright accent color. And I didn't really intentionally make this like a homage to the 95, but I do remember when I was uh, designing this pack after the first pack, I was like, you know, I really would like the colors to pop more. And that's when these sneakers came into mind. I was like, you know, I love the use of the bright colors that they use in that. And that's also why I went with the bright colors on the inside of the bag as well. You can see that I also use the same influence on the hip pack as well. The funny thing is I've actually never told this story before, the correlation between the Air Max 95 and my sling pack. So you guys are hearing it first. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, please do like, share, or comment below. Don't forget to check out our website at wishforfish.com. And if you're on social media, give us a follow at Wish for Fish. Now for the first week in January, type in the promo code New Year Gear to receive 50% off on any one of our packs. And I'll see you on the water.